Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and we are bringing you a spicy new deck from the KC Cup. I didn't make this deck. This is from someone who placed in the top 10 KC Cup. I think he was like number 6 or something. I'm certain this isn't the only deck he used. He had a uh, other, I don't know if it's a he, but they had other uh, Harpies decks and all sorts of other stuff. But they used this deck too, and it's pretty much a Suicide OTK Red Eyes deck. We got the new Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. He's pretty much an OTK in himself because if he attacks, you're able to return a vanilla Red Eyes to your deck and do effect damage equal to half your attack of what you sent back. So it would be 1200 from these 2400 Red Eyes. Sounds a little complicated. It's not complicated at all. As long as you swing with this boy at an empty field, it's going to be an OTK. So this deck revolves around emptying the field. We have three Mystical Space Typhoons, which are just easy back row hate as a spell card. We have Into the Void, which lets you plus one, but you'll discard your hand at the end phase. Doesn't really matter if you end the turn. We have Lightning Vortex, it's sure I'll face up. Now this is where it gets really spicy. It's Sky Striker Maneuver Jamming Waves. If you control no monsters in your main zone, target one spell or trap, destroy it, then if you have three or more spell cards in your graveyard, believe it or not, we, we, we use the second effect. You can destroy one card, one monster card on the field. So face up, face down, doesn't matter as long as you have three spell cards in your extra decks or in your graveyard. Super easy to do with Mystical Space Typhoon. Super easy to do with Insight. Super easy to do with Into the Void. It happens a lot, believe it or not. So you're hitting a face down back row, then you're hitting any monster destroyed. You could have vortexed a monster before. You could have mystical space typhoon a back row before. Super crazy synergy with this sky striker. Didn't think you would really see that. It's kind of a newish card too, but uh, crazy, crazy synergy for that. So really, really spicy deck. Easy OTKs, easy back row hate. I, like I said, I don't believe this guy used this deck exclusively. It was a person with, they got like six in the KC Cup. Their name was just, uh, I, I want to say Chinese, but it's just an Asian character. It could have been Japanese, but uh, just one character of writing. So I don't really know how to shout them out, but it's just pretty much a suicide red eyes OTK deck. We're using it with Grit, with Joey. He even has a line for, uh, this extra deck monster. He doesn't have a cutscene, but he has a line for it. So definitely met as a Joey deck. Super spicy deck. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing, I think that's edgy Jaden. I don't think that's regular Jaden. I think that's eight edgy Jaden. So there's regular Jaden, edgy Jaden, and then you bell Jaden. So I call him edgelord Jaden. And we have Supreme King Jaden now too. We have too many Jadens. So we're going to set a back row. It's just a mystical space typhoon, but it's going to... Look at this. Look at this. Appreciate this feel. We're facing Trimids. Trimid Hunter, two back row. What I should have done, I should have mystical space typhooned his spell card as soon as he used it. That way we may have dodged his effect. Maybe even not. But he gets to summon his Trimid Master. Virtually no way he's going to OTK us with Grit. Nothing he can do. We just have to get over to back row. We already have one Sky Striker to do it. We top deck a Mystical Space Typhoon. It's going to work just fine. We have the Trimid Pulse. Now we Red Eyes Insight. What does this get, guys? Two. Two right there. And then Insight should hop in there. So that's three, guys. Look at that. Two Mystical Space Typhoons. And then Insight. When you have three or more spell cards in your graveyard, you can destroy one monster on the field. So we're going to get to destroy that back row. It's a treacherous of all things. Then we get to destroy the master. We get to red eyes out our boy, the black skull dragon. Now, it's not quite a... See, we get a little cutscene there. Not quite a cutscene, but a little line. Not quite an OTK. We had 1,800 plus 1,200. He'll still have 1,000 life points left. But look at him. We completely wiped the field. All he has is a top deck. Not good enough as he scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing an Akiza. People are 
using a Kiza for Ritual Cage. It's like, Necros, guys. I don't know what to do with Necros. I'm trying so hard with Necros, guys. I don't know what to do with them. I can't get any spicy combos with them. I honestly don't know what to do. I don't want to just make a basic Necros Ritual Summon deck. But that's what I'm going to have to do. And it's just not good enough. I don't know. Anyway, we're facing a back row and a Magician of Chaos. Now, take a look. Magician of Chaos does have a mechanic where once her turn, when this spell or, or blah blah blah. No, 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 no. Um, if this Ritual Summon card is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can Special Summon a Chaos or Black Luster from your hand. He has a second Special Summon effect. So given this hand, we have two Lightning Vortexes. We're going to throw one away, use the other. Pretend he had a Chaos or Black Luster in his hand, and he's going to get to Special Summon once he's destroyed. Pretend that happened. Pretend it was ideal. He got a Black Cluster Soldier on the field. We'd be able to use our Red Eyes Insight. Now with that Red Eyes Insight, that's going to be three spell cards. Two Lightning Vortex and the Red Eyes Insight. When you have three spell cards in your grave, Sky Striker gets to destroy a monster. He has no monster to destroy. Pretend his Magician of Chaos summoned a Black Cluster. We'd still be able to destroy it with our Sky Striker as well as destroying that Ultimate Providence that would absolutely have stopped our Archfiend Black Skull Dragon using his effect. We would have been stopped with that Ultimate Providence. It's gone now though. So we get to swing, we get to activate, and we get to win. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Reginald. We're gonna catch a rank up without a win streak. While meanwhile, he's on a four win streak. He's using 25 cards though, even with that sleeping mat. It's not gonna get him far, we're going first too. So we're gonna just set a Mystical Space Typhoon and call it a turn. He's going to use Melody of Awakening, throw away a Roar, search two Leviathaneers while he can. This deck's about to be banned, sir. And then he passes his turn, so you know, that's the mistake already. We have two Sky Strikers into the Void for a Red Eyes Fusion. It's that simple, guys. We can't give a Thunder Dragons another turn to come get us, so we had to use that into the void. Even if he has hand traps, he had Sphere Boys, he had Temperance, and I think this guy even had Chiroid. And uh, yeah, you can't use any of that versus your Arch being Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing good boy Jaden. This is the happy go lucky Jaden. Beginning of the series, Jaden. Showing great, he's using 27 cards though. Got a skull in our hand. That's a dead card because we have to use our one skull with the fusion. Search our second fusion, so the deck's pretty thin. Set our Sky Striker purely as a bluff. Can't use it during his turn at all. He's using magnets, so no real way they were gonna OTK us whatsoever. And no back row, so we can use our Mystical Space Typhoon on this magnetic field and now it's as simple as an arch fiend even when he uses his effect now this is actually a really good play because he uses it as soon as i switch to the battle phase if he would have tried to wait till i swung as soon as i swung he couldn't use any effects he would have taken the damage from the gamma so he makes a good play brings out his delta before i even swing because if he yeah, would have swung, it would have been too late. He can't use effects. He still takes 1200 from just that boy. We have a bluff back row, but I don't think he really has any answers from this as he sets a back row. I think he scoops as we mystical space typhoon once again. He's a super team buddy force, so even if we didn't hit that back row, he wasn't going to do anything with it as we hit him for that 3200. And we do have another Red Eyes thanks to using the Insight. So he was down for it. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Declan. Declan Akaba. We're going second. Poor boy was trying to catch a rank up. He won't, though. Not without a sleeve or mat or nothing. We gotta show him Grit. Grit's not what it used to be. It used to be as popular as Destiny Draw. But it still works for this deck just fine. Here our boy destroys an odd eyes, he's using triple D's, so he doesn't really know what he's doing with that one set card. 
We're gonna use an Into the Void. We get a Red Eyes Insight. Throw away our Red Eyes. The Red Red Eyes. Set a Lightning Vortex. Set a Mystical Space Typhoon. Then we're gonna Red Eyes out our Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Destroy a face down, it's just some random pendulum. Hit him for that 1200. Throw away everything from our Into the Void. We don't have anything left though. Missile Space Typhoon. Very strong against Triple D's guys. They rely a lot on continuous spell cards. And when you Missile Space Typhoon, he's not going to get any part of that effect. And he scoops subsequently. Great, great stuff guys. Alright, here we are facing an Akiza. Going second. Definitely a second turn deck. Virtually no way to survive first turn outside of Grit. Grit's a, honestly a pretty good way. Not as good as it used to be, but it works perfectly fine with this deck. This deck doesn't even feel the downside. Now our boy does nothing. Does absolutely nothing, which means he's going to get dunked on because our boy stops hand traps. Uh, if this card battles your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. No Sphere Kribo, no Kite Roid, no Veil, nothing. He swings, all your hand traps are done. This guy has Kite Roid and Temperance, nothing. And then in the end phase, we target a Vanilla Red Eyes, return it to the deck. You take 1200, easy OTKs. That's literally what the deck's all about. Super, super spicy. Perfect thing you want for the KC Cup. It goes super quick. It's just a coin flip deck. Your losses are quick. Your wins are quick. You want speed in the KC Cup. You got to keep up with everyone. It's just spicy enough. This wasn't his entire rank. He didn't get six with just this deck. He went to some Harpies. Harpies are OP right now. But this is definitely some interesting spice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.